This is Anders Brownworth. I'm the chief evangelist here at Circle. Let's compare how traditional dollars and USDC move between crypto exchanges. Let's say you want to move $1 million from exchange A to exchange B. You can just move the money, right? You can't actually do that because the money is held in banks. Each exchange has its own traditional bank account associated with it. Now, Bank A and Bank B don't actually talk to one another, so you'll have to use your personal bank as an intermediary. You move the money from Bank A to your bank, and then another transfer from your bank to Bank B. So how does this work? Exchange A checks your exchange account. If they agree there is at least $1 million there, Exchange A tells Bank A to move the money. But that still may go through a third party called a custodial bank. You can think about it like an airport network. Imagine both banks are little regional airports. Sometimes you need a hub like Heathrow or JFK to connect them. Just like connecting flights, Bank A chooses this custodial bank because they know it has a direct relationship with both banks. They have to send a swift message to the end bank care of the custodial bank. Now that the messages go from bank A to your bank via the custodial bank, the money moves the same way. But we're only halfway there. Once you confirm you have $1 million in your bank, you kick off the process to move that money to bank B. Again, this works the same way, but may involve even more banks. Exchange B then checks to see if the money has arrived, and if so, credits your exchange account with $1 million. Now let's try moving $1 million from Exchange A to Exchange B using USDC. You say how much you want to send, you get an address from Exchange B, press send, and the money moves within minutes. Any time of day or night or evening or weekends or even bank holidays. That's it. Learn more at circle.com slash USDC.